Okay, hi everyone, it's Karen, and today I'm going to show you a junk journal that I just put together, and it's for a swap that I'm going to be participating in. We are required in the swap to either post photographs in the Facebook group for the, or in the Facebook group showing what we've made or a video on YouTube. So I opted for doing the video on YouTube. So the theme for this particular swap is vintage tea and roses. So yes, you'll see throughout here. The cover's <laughs> one of the few things that doesn't really have the exactly follow the theme. I might do a little decoration on it. Um, haven't decided yet. I have a lace closure. You can just see this pretty little bit of lace. It's a vintage lace that I picked up at Goodwill a while back. I have two little two little charms, a little heart and the second little whoops the second little little heart my stitching on the spine was far from perfect but this is a process I'm learning so we're, we're getting there it measures about eight and a half inches tall and almost six inches across here. So it's a nice size. It has two signatures that are 10 or 12 pages each. We'll, we'll do a count when we, when we go through this. So I just kind of want to do a quick flip through of everything that's in here. So there's oodles of pockets, there's oodles of um, little bits, um, little note cards to add things. So a lot of them are just the are extra scrapbook paper, and I'm probably not going to be able to get them all back in as easily. This is just uh, a little envelope tuck spot with um, a napkin attached to it. I use mostly scrapbook paper and tea dyed state paper and some book pages, vintage book pages for this. So some rose, some pretty rose um, scrapbook paper. A little tuck spot. I used up everything from I think every last bit of the the cover page. A little a little spot to to write on. Some tea dyed paper, a little doily, scrapbook paper, a little little tuck spot with um, a chamomile tea packaging. This I made, well this is just a little piece that can be added in just for a little note that can go on here. This I used some of the extra scrapbook paper and some extra tea dyed paper that I've just stapled in to make a, a tiny little notebook that the recipient can use either in here or somewhere else. Some lined paper, page from an old dictionary from I believe 1929, tea dyed paper, a little belly band, and another little note card with some collaging on it. So it's a lot of space for writing on the back here. So this can go back in here or wherever. Gorgeous picture of roses from a book I had, some ledger paper, scrapbook paper, um, a book from a, a flower book that I bought at a yard sale or somewhere or other, more paper, and I just printed this little image out from free clip art on, um, online and just put that on there. A uh, piece of scrapbook paper, just a little lace trim. In the center part I just folded up the, the piece of scrapbook paper, tucked it down on either side so a couple nice tuck spots or little pockets that we can have. It's just a piece of scrap paper or scrapbook paper with the, the tea and teapot, 
uh, the recipient can use it however however they desire. I used a five stitch uh, pamphlet stitch with waxed uh, wax string. More of the um, tea dye paper. And we're looking at the second half of the the first signature, the back of the page, ledger paper. And this is just a little flap. Um, I didn't want the I didn't want to break up that gorgeous floral, so I just that was the width of the the page in the book. So I just have this little bit on this side, so somebody they can attach something to that. Uh, the other half of the dictionary, uh, another little envelope tuck spot with a little note card that I can't get back in there quick and easy. The other half of the doily. And then the second signature, the cover of the second signature is a piece of vellum with roses imprinted on it. Scrapbook paper, a page from a little calendar that I found. For, it's actually for 2020. So. Um, piece of uh, page from a music book. I forget what year it is. I'm not. Maybe the year isn't even on there. Another little page I just printed from from online. More of the scrapbook paper. There's an envelope, and inside the envelope, I've just tucked one of the extra pieces of the edge or the piece that I cut off of the scrapbook paper that was for another page there. Pretty much all the scrapbook paper I used were all 12 by 12 from 12 by 12 pads. So one of the requirements was that we included an envelope. So there's that one. A little piece of lace as a, a tuck spot. And this is actually a sticker. So the recipient can either use it as a note card, they can use it as a sticker to add in later on, whatever they wish to do with it. I've added a few pieces, a little image that you can use as a little note card. These are little pieces that can be added in. Again, another one of the, the cuts from the paper. I also included another envelope. I got these a while back from I think AliExpress. Uh, they're gorgeous little vellum envelopes and granted they are cherry blossoms I believe. They're not roses but I, I just thought it was so adorable that I wanted to include it with this. The second little pendant couple little things in this little a little tuck spot the little card that they can use another little journaling card the other part of the envelope another little tuck spot another little envelope for tucking in and a little journaling card. Another little tuck spot. This is from another uh, peach flavored green tea. So another just a box of tea I had at home. <laughs> that was cute. I have a stamp that is a little tea bag. Another little off cut from the scrapbook paper that they can use for for journaling a journaling spot and then I just added an extra little tuck spot at the back and I've included three more pages from that little calendar that I bought and the recipient can use these for for journaling cards they can use it for adding decoration to their pages whatever their heart desires it's their book they can they can do with it what they wish. So there we have it, my little 
dump journal that I made for this vintage tea and roses swap. So I'm really excited. I can't wait to see who I get paired up with. I can't wait to see what what journal I get. I I had a blast making this. I spent quite a bit of time just picking out picking out what I wanted to include with it. So trying to decide what what of my which of my supplies I wanted to use um, and how I was going to put everything together. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you found it informative, helpful, gave you some inspiration for doing your own junk journals. And I look forward to getting this sent off to my my swap partner in sometime next week. And I can't wait to see what I get back myself. So anyways, thanks for watching. Take care and we'll catch you guys again soon. Bye.